so I told him not to bother coming back, and now I'm sure stuffed. Uh, I'll fill in. I waited tables in college. <laughs> you? <laughs> Put me in, coach. You don't even understand the menu. Um, pardon me, but my French has gotten tray better. Love the show. We're so happy to have the cast here. That was a clip, of course, from the upcoming season three of Emily in Paris. As we celebrate our Emily in Paris week here on GMA, we now have the creator of the series, the wonderful Darren Starr is with us, and the incredible chef, Gabrielle, a.k.a. Lucas Bravo, with us on Good Morning America. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for having Great us. to be here. I'm going to start by saying, yay, season four already renewed in the books. Which is amazing. Netflix gave us such a vote of confidence after season two. They've renewed two seasons of Emily in Paris. So we know we're, we're, good, we're good through season four. And so let me ask you, Lucas, as one of the main characters on the show, how does that, does that sort of give you more freedom? Like knowing before you even start filming season three, you're set for, for season four. Did that give you m more confidence in your role? Well, you, you can never expect where Darren is going to bring us. Uh, so the confidence, uh, I wouldn't say confidence, but um, it's just, it just gives you a duty to, you know, give the best because you, when you have two, two episodes ordered, you just want to just wanna deliver for two, the people. Yeah. Can, can you tell us anything about this upcoming season? You're, you're very busy in the kitchen. Yes. And you're also very busy in your love life. <laughs> Oh, sorry, we're talking about the show, right? Yes, I oh. <laughs> <laughs> knew I liked you. <laughs> uh, is, can you give us just a hint? Your co-stars were, were so gracious. We would love just a little something. Um, I would say, um, I would, for me, this is the best se season Darren uh, has ever written. And um, I, was, I shot the grand finale. I saw it being shot, yep. and and yet when I saw it, I was completely, I was upside really? down. Yes, I think you're gonna, keep you, like, yeah, you're gonna be on the edge what, of your that's seat. That's what Lily said as well. He, he, goes, on, he goes on quite a journey this season. Oh, yes. was that so fun for you, Darren, as a Absol writer, or creator? Absolutely, just to give these guys such so much more to play, and uh, just deepen their characters, and I, I feel like. Um, Hopefully, I think the audience is going to make even more of a connection to the show and these guys. Well, we certainly all connected to Sex and the City, and it was really fun to see your friend, your dear friend Kim Cattrall with you on the red carpet yes, for, for Emily in fantastic. Paris. Fantastic. She, yeah, she came out to support us uh, at our premiere in Paris last week. It really does seem, and I know off camera we chatted a little bit about it, but you create this family dynamic with these shows. Is, is, that, is it a family set for you, a family feel on the set for you, Lucas, and how does he do it? It, it, you know, is is it takes care of everything. You know, the, from the casting to the writing to the directing, the addition at the end is it's it's so crazy. Cause, so is the intricacies of how it creates um, the the chemistry is is is, is mysteries, is secret sauce. But for us, it is it, it is a family because. We, we used to say that season one was childhood, season two was teenage life, and season and three is adulthood. Adults. Yes, and then it's going to be retired home, Palm Spring <laughs> vacation for season four. No, 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 because we need a five and maybe a six. <laughs> I, yeah, I hope so too. I do. And uh, what a great perk. I mean, did you think, I want to do a show in Paris because, gosh, I'd love to be in Paris. Well, I love Paris, and I always thought about the idea of doing a show about an expatriate in Paris because I always dreamed of living there myself, and now I get to do both, which is... Uh, it's, it's fantastic. You and know. Speaking of secret sauce, something I learned uh, about you, Lucas, is that you don't just play a chef on TV. You actually are one. I, I was, yes, I was. I, I was a sous chef in a restaurant, uh, you know, just to put food on the table. And, he, made, uh, he made that omelet on the show. I insisted. It yeah. was perfect. You know, it was, yeah. Some people have a stunt double to jump from planes, and I have a stunt double to cut my vegetables on the show. <laughs> and I always go oh, like... Oh, boy, that's where we're yeah, heading now. We go on fights, and I'm like, please let me cut my vegetables. That was a fight. He was like, no, I'm, I can cut my own vegetables. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, so you did make him cook as part of his tryout? Yeah. Of course, yes, we had to see him cook. No, no, he, and we, he, yeah, you're, you are quite a good cook. I, I mean, yeah, he makes me cook every time, every day at the end of the... <laughs> when we wrap the days, like... I come home and I, you know, I take my microphone off and, and I cook for Darren. Whip something yeah. up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> nice perk of the job there, Darren. Darren, congratulations. You've done it again. Thank we are you. enjoying every second of it. Thank and we're you so all. happy to celebrate yeah. Emily in Paris Week. Thanks Great for to us. meet you in person. Likewise. Thank Love you. Show. Emily in Paris, season three, premieres globally on Netflix next Wednesday, December 21st.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.